Welcome back people. This is Mohit again. Okay, in the previous part uh, I talked about how to create uh, spry tap panels using jQuery UI. Just to refresh your memory. Let's see exactly what jQuery UI is all over again. Basically jQuery UI is a curated set of user interface interactions, the effects, widgets and themes built on top of the jQuery JavaScript library, the icing on the cake actually. Whether you're building highly interactive web applications or just need to add a date picker to a form control, jQuery UI is the perfect choice. Okay, so that's as far as the definition goes. Now, in part number one, I showed, uh, I actually uh, did show you the browser preview, and uh, I, I promised you that I'll discuss the code in detail in part two, which is this part, people. Okay, I'd use CDN content delivery network so that uh, the requisite files for my jQuery UI code to fire are actually not kept physically on the you know on my server but a remote server which I really don't need to know uh, is kept remotely somewhere when you use a CDN it can help your pages load faster reduce the strain on your own web server by offloading the jQuery files to an external server okay and then I'd shown you the uh, you know briefly or superficially the structure of my code because once we understand the structure it will become a lot easier to go inside uh, the real source code and understand the source code so a lot better if we you know uh, with the bird's eye view superficially understand what the structure is like I had actually missed out on one thing in the body of the document not only do we have a div with an ID box that acts like the wrapper we have yet another div people with an ID tabs that acts like the second wrapper actually okay opens out here and obviously it's got to end out here okay let's save it up now uh, we have the opening tag HTML there the closing HTML tag out here the head of the document is here inside which I've used CDN to pull up the requisite files uh, required uh, files for my jQuery UI to work which is out here which is sandwiched in between script tags then we have uh, opening and the closing style tags which actually define the rules for the outer wrapper box which has an inner wrapper tabs okay so this style tags pair just has one single rule for the uh, division with an ID box okay the body itself is quite simple the opening and the closing body tags have the outer wrapper a div with an ID box then have an inner wrapper a div with an ID tabs then we have a UL list we have three more divisions okay that have an ID flash dreamweaver and swish max and uh, yep so that is the basic structure of the uh, the source code in fact now we'll jump inside the real source code and understand how things act the way they actually act okay just let me get it up cool uh, and this was the link that I promised will get the source code to you which will give away the source code to you that's quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one dot html okay if I go down to the bottom of the page then you have this uh, uh, link which says jQuery UI tapped collapsible panel so not only are the panels tapped but collapsible too click out here uh, you'll see a browser preview I'll show you how the you know tabs actually behave see they are collapsible too and they toggle themselves they open and collapse as well alright 
so you can make the click event to a mouse over event which we had seen in the earlier part too you can disable these tabs completely and again I don't know why would somebody want to do that or you can alter the height by changing the auto to content and I've shown you how we can actually do that anyways I uh, now will discuss the source code in detail people I'm not inside Dreamweaver but I have actually push the source code directly out here on the web page but that's that should be okay see we have the doc type declaration out here some browsers will not display a web page correctly if doc type is not mentioned people language is mentioned out here the opening uh, head tag is out here meta cassette out here okay so this is just routine people you just need to mention all this uh, I mean, I'm sure you understand this is all routine then we have the title going out here then the start of CDNs. Basically, I've used the link tag to pull up jQuery UI.css file, which is kept remotely somewhere. Okay, and through the content delivery network, I'm actually fetching it. Okay, uh, there's another seed, you know, through the CDN, I'm pulling up uh, jQuery latest version 1.9.1.js. I've not kept the file physically out here, but again, I'm summoning it through CDN. Okay, now we have the jQuery 10.3 UIJS file again kept remotely somewhere through the CD, and I'm actually fetching it. And similarly, I have a style.css file uh, which is kept remotely again through the CDN I'm pulling it so you really don't need to bother what these files are even I wouldn't know exactly what is inside these files but these files have uh, essential information that is required for a script to fire and the script uh, strictly speaking it's just two lines just two lines out here okay sandwiched between the opening and the closing script tags all it says when the document is actually ready the div which has an ID tabs as I've shown you a while ago through the tabs function of the tabs widget work the way we have seen it work the additional optional ca parameter can either be set to true or false uh, collapsible when set to false won't allow the uh, tab panels to actually work like collapsible panels do uh, you can change the click to mouse over at, as we had seen earlier you can disable the entire tab system or the tab panels turning false to true the high style which is actually auto can also be set to content and we have seen once we set it to content the height varies every time depending on the content that's pushed inside the content area people I would I would prefer keeping it uh, auto I think I think that looks neater but then again uh, depends on your preference okay and uh, then we have the opening style tag out here with the type attribute set to text CSS text for slash CSS that's the way it should be okay I think probably with HTML5 we don't need the type attribute there's no harm pushing it out here okay the box is the outer wrapper people the outer div and the width and the font size are being set out here okay so that the uh, tab panels do not occupy the complete uh, width of the page but are restricted to 600 px or whatever you would want to see you can change this value of course and the font size too okay uh, the head tag closes out here the body starts out here now the box the div with an id box is actually the outer wrapper which uh, ends out here obviously then we have an inner div people which is which has an id tabs let me show it to you yeah so the outer div box is uh, containing within itself ID tabs okay and obviously the div with an ID tabs ends out here cool uh, then uh, I told you that we need to create a unordered list it's so very simple people so inside the unordered list we have very expectedly the li li items which then carry the anchor tags which have href set to pound sign or hash sign flash hash sign dreamweaver or hash sign uh, swish max and the text is flash dreamweaver and swish max so it's very very simple actually to create all this okay then we have 
a div with an ID flash. I promised you that, uh, informed you that we have three divs inside the uh, div with an ID tabs, namely uh, flash, Dreamweaver, and Swishmax. That I mean the IDs, flash, Swish, uh, Dreamweaver, and Swishmax. Okay. So one with an ID flash actually ends out here and has a paragraph inside. Okay, so you have some text inside people. Alright. I see a opening p tag. I may have missed out missed out on a closing paragraph uh, you know paragraph tag people. I just may have done that. I'll correct it in the source code. But that's not actually affecting our uh, code badly. As you can see, you can just push in the closing p tag out here, people. I delete should have been out here. Uh, just like we have a you know opening p tag out here a closing p tag out here i will actually make the correction in the source code that you would download but you can do so too but it's, it's not going to seriously affect the way the things are as you have clearly seen okay so we have a paragraph out here then we have another div with an id dreamweaver and another paragraph inside it which talks about dreamweaver the dreamweaver div closes out here then we have yet another div uh swish max that has a paragraph out here okay so some information about swishmax goes in out here alrighty very, very cool so people uh, the swishmax div closes out here and that is uh, the way the structure is that's all that you need to create people and uh, the code is uh, you know this is the whole magic out here this is the entire magic out here. Uh, I think I missed out on the closing p tag at two places. I don't know how that actually happened. If you have an opening p tag out here, one must have a closing p tag out here. And similarly for the switch max div also, I can see a, a you know an opening out here. Just looking for a closing somewhere. I don't have a closing. I should have a closing out here. Okay, so just just uh, you know uh, terminate your paragraphs with the closing p tags. I'm not so sure how that actually happened, but anyways, it's very easy to correct. So once uh, uh, you make these corrections, it's you know all the magic is actually out here in these uh, two lines, people. Very very simple, two three lines. So when the document is ready, the div with an ID uh, of tabs pound sign or hash sign tabs using the tabs function can be made to collapse uh, or with the click event fired or with the, the disabled option disabled completely and the height of the content can actually be changed out here uh, setting it to auto or content there's yet another option uh, fill but uh, I'm completely against it you can actually try what it, what it does it you know elongates the uh, window you know the height becomes way too long uh, uh, that 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 was the reason why I actually didn't discuss it in the first place so people as I was uh, actually talking about the source code I found two aberrations out here the p tag that opened out here had to be closed out here similarly uh, for switch max the p tag that opens out here needed to be uh, closed out here nevertheless these are very small aberrations and as you can very clearly see has not actually affected the way the code is out here. Let me just right click and check the source code if I can. You page source. Mm. Yeah, there's no closing p tag out here. It's not balancing out properly. Okay. This one is balanced out. P opening, p closing. And this one is again not balanced out, people. So just make, uh, just balance out the p tags, and uh, you're good to go. So people, I hope you like this tutorial as much you like part number one, which I hope you did. Okay. So uh, I also hope that you'll uh, come back for more tutorials. You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.